I'm Dr. Jeffrey Spiegel, a facial plastic surgeon in Boston, Massachusetts. And I'd like to speak with you a little bit about chondrolaryngoplasty. Well, that's a complicated word for what's more commonly known as a trach shave. This procedure is designed to reduce the prominence of the Adam's apple of the neck. Now, you can't see mine because I don't have much of an Adam's apple and it's hidden behind my collar. But for some people, the Adam's apple projects quite forward from their neck, especially if you have a very thin neck. And this projection can be unappealing for men, women, and transgender women alike. All sorts of people find that that's uh, something they'd like to change. Now, a few years ago I published a research paper, uh, sort of a how to do it safely paper, that's been uh, very widely read. And I want to discuss with you the best way to have this procedure done. For a lot of things, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Now, I truly believe for this procedure that there's one safe way to do this operation, and that's under direct visualization. Now let me explain to you what I mean. The Adam's apple is this part of the cartilage of the neck. This is the thyroid cartilage, which makes up your larynx, these are the medical words, but this part that sticks forward, that's the Adam's apple that comes out. And as you can see, it protrudes forward here, and this is the part of the uh, Adam's apple that we'd like to reduce its prominence. We'd like to set it back this way. So it seems obvious that you could simply go here and remove from here up. Just remove the part that's projecting forward. Well, you can't do that because I'll show you from the top here. It's probably hard to see this, but your vocal cords attach inside somewhere around here. Your vocal cords are like guitar strings. If they are set at the proper tension, you have a proper voice. If they get too loose, the pitch falls, and you can end up with a very gravelly and unnatural hoarse voice. If your vocal cords attach, for example, on our model, here or below, then we can remove all this cartilage above safely, and there'll be no change to the voice. However, if your vocal cords are even a millimeter higher than this, and I remove below, then I can loosen the vocal cords and result in a lowered pitch. Now here's where I think the key is. The key is you have to be able to know where they attach, but you can't from looking from here. So when I do this procedure, we use a video camera that looks at the vocal cords directly. It comes down here and looks at the vocal cords. I'm able to then determine precisely where they attach and remove only the cartilage that can be safely removed above that point. Now what does this mean for you? This means that most of the time we can remove all the cartilage and you get an excellent result. There is a small percentage of people, maybe 15% or so, I would estimate, where their vocal cords attach higher than we would prefer and some of this has to remain. That doesn't mean it's going to look bad when we're done. It just means that whereas we'd like to have removed from here to here, perhaps we'll have removed 75% of that or 50% of that in the worst situations. You still get an excellent improvement, it's just not as much as you want. Now there are no guarantees in medicine, and I can't make any guarantees myself, but for this procedure I can guarantee that we remove everything that can be removed safely. That we don't leave any cartilage behind that should be removed, and we go just to the point where we can remove it safely. The incision for this is put way up where your neck bends, so it's hidden in the shadows, and it's pretty small. It's about the width of my fingernail, and it gets smaller over time. People can expect to have a slightly hoarse voice for the first day or two, and that's typically due to some swelling. Voice changes in the long term we've never seen, and we will continue doing this the same safe method, which has thus far had a zero complication rate. Again, complications can occur at any time, but our method thus far, we've been very fortunate, has been excellent with terms of voice, and the only problems we've ever seen were uh, very rarely someone will say they'd like to have the incision on the neck made a little thinner if for some reason it didn't heal as well as we would have hoped, and we can adjust that very readily in the office. If you have questions about tracheal shave or chondrolaryngoplasty, we're, help, we're happy to answer them. You can find us on the internet at drspiegel.com, D-R-S-P-I-E-G-E-L.com, or you can call us at 617-566-3223. Thank you for listening.